Living in California, we are blessed with pleasant weather all year long, allowing us to enjoy time outdoors through recreational activities such as jogging, playing in the park, and biking. Here in Cupertino, we live in a quiet suburb which many people see as a paradise. But every paradise has its faults. Numerous studies show that California has more bicycle accidents annually than any other state in our nation. Of these accidents, 20% of them occur in parking lots. Although these problems may seem non-existent in our small town of Cupertino, we realized that the same problem is prevalent in our own Monta Vista staff parking lots. For safety at moments, I wish there was more. <laughs> so I think the problem is there, the spatial awareness isn't there for a lot of young people. They don't learn to move around them, really try to think about what that driver's doing next to them. The driver might be on their phone, you know, and so all these kind of things can I think so. the vast majority of the drivers around here aren't watching for bikers and they don't uh, necessarily think of bikers at all. On September 16, 2014, California passed the Three Feet for Safety Act, stating that vehicles must stay three feet away from cyclists when passing them on the street. However, 82% of respondents to a survey we sent out feel that cars were only a few feet away from them when they were biking. Additionally, 14% of bikers have witnessed or been involved in a bike accident in the staff parking lots. The overwhelming data led us to ask why. Why do bicyclists feel so unsafe and what can be done to remedy this problem? Well, I believe it's on both parts. Both the cars and the bikers have a certain level of responsibility and whenever one of them perhaps forgets that safety is priority, then accidents are built down. According to Ray Thomas, a Portland bike lawyer, majority of bike accidents occur when the motor vehicle in question fails to recognize the biker as a vehicle and trespasses into the biker's lane. This poses a safety hazard to the biker and the driver, making a crash imminent. Hence, we propose the installation of road reflectors on the border of the pedestrian lane between both lots of the staff parking lot. Road reflectors are devices made mostly of ceramic. Since they are raised above the ground, drivers will feel a bump as they pass over them, alerting them to the fact that they have unknowingly crossed into another lane. Furthermore, they reflect the light from car headlights and thus illuminate. During days with decreased visibility due to the time of day or weather conditions, cars and bikers can easily see the lane, preventing them from crossing into the lane unknowingly. So it would also be nice for like those, those bikers that don't have lights, at least at night with the reflection, you'd be like, why is there a black spot in my usual stream of brightness? Oh, there's a person there. Maybe they can see it better. According to a study conducted by the U.S. Department of Transportation, active lighting on the road was one of the most effective ways to prevent cycling accidents. Other methods, such as education, laws, enforcement, or safety fairs, had a very low success rate. Road reflectors have actually been successfully tested in many places. On October 29, 2013, the city of Portland, Oregon installed reflectors to delineate the bike lanes as it approached Birdside Bridge. The city has enjoyed an overwhelmingly positive success. Since then, bike accidents have dropped by 90%. Bike safety has been a consistent problem for many years, but road reflectors have been the best method to counter it so far. As an added benefit, road reflectors are relatively cheap. Each is about one dollar. This is a very worthy project, and I think that people should invest in it because safety is always the number one priority of safety, and to make this community we have to first address these fundamental issues. If you provide us with the $1,000, we can leave a permanent mark on the world. It only takes $1 per reflector to protect the lives of so many young adults that bike through Monte Vista and prevent the tragedy of debt that has plagued biking communities for decades. By installing road reflectors on the pedestrian lane, we can furnish the community with an efficient way to ensure the safety of Monte Vista bikers for many generations to come.